You got this. Step through here. You got it. Pass your hips. So Kai, we've talked about how athletes who can throw really well can hit really well or really hard in volleyball. So we've spent a lot of time in your warm up and then as we start to train on what? Arm mechanics and throwing, right? And there's a big relationship between throwing a ball and hitting hard. So today we're going to work a little bit on your arm mechanics and the first thing we're going to do is arm mechanics with throwing. So we're going to kind of go back and, and review some of the things you've been working on. We're going to go through our one, two, three throwing drill, okay? So do this for me. Get in your kind of ready position. You've got a ball, imaginary ball in your left hand. You're going to toss it up, and you're going to draw that right hand back to that one position, okay? Let's just do that. So let's go from here, and let's go to one, okay? Good. You keep doing that, and I'm just going to guide your arm. Keep working on that. And what I'm looking for is that comes up here. The elbow comes up to just shoulder level, just like that. And then we're going to tilt a little bit, right? Because when you toss the ball... We got to kind of point up, okay? And as this elbow comes up, it's coming up to shoulder level. You just do what you're doing. That's awesome. Just add a little tilt to it. Good. Okay? How about two more? And you notice as you're doing this, where are you pulling your hand? Are you lifting it up like a floater serve with your hands going way up over your head? No. If I put my hand here, you're bringing that back. Go ahead and do a few more. Just go to your one position, nice. So you're not even touching my hand and arm with your right hand. Now go ahead and add your tilt to it. All right, so Kai, let's add number two to it. Go ahead and go to number one for me. And then the second part is what? Take your arm up, we're gonna rotate your shoulder up, and let's repeat that, go for it. Keep going. And as you do that, we wanna make sure as you toss that up that we tilt, good. So go to one and two, and on two, the higher we take this hand back here, Without putting any stress on your shoulder, the harder you're going to hit the ball. So if we only come to here, you're not going to hit it as far as if we can get it back there. Okay? So go for it. One, two. Good. Keep going. Give me that tilt. Reach up there. Look up. Good. And relax. Okay? Now, let's show the camera what's going on. I'm going to turn you around here. You continue to do your one, two. And what I want to show the camera is what's happening between your shoulder blades here. Go from one to two. And when you do that, what we're going to see is, continue to do that, that the shoulder blades squeeze together back there. So on the back side, we see the shoulder blades coming together. On the front side, I'm going to turn you to about right there. Go ahead and do that again. When the shoulder blades do that in back, it opens up the chest in front. And all the good hitters you see in the world really open their chest. And a big part of that motion, go ahead and do that again and stay right there. When we rotate back into there, we open the chest and we get one of your pec muscles, one of your chest muscles on the right side to stretch. And like a rubber band, we're going to hit harder if we can get that muscle to be a part of the swing, part of the action, okay? So a couple more. One, two. Give me that tilt. Look up with the hand. All right, so Kai, let's add three. Show me one and two. One, two. What's three? Step and turn your hips, okay? Let's do it again, a few times. Slow motion, one, one, two, step, turn your hips, and you're going, okay? Good. One, two. Good. Really, it's really important to get to two and make sure you finish two before you start three, okay? One, two, three. Awesome. Two more. One, two, three. Nice. Last one. Okay. While we're here, tell me what your left hand does. Right now it's just kind of falling. Where should it go? It to your heart. So let's see what happens when you do that. Go one, two, three, and bring your left hand to your heart. One, two. Okay. What happened to the turn of your body when you did that? Uh, yeah, and it turned faster, right? Do it again. One, two, three, left hand to your heart. Two. Nice. Two more, please. All right, so Kai... Everything we've been doing so far has been kind of learning. We've learned the proper motion. Now we're going to get into training the motion. We're going to add just a little bit of resistance to your elbow. So we've got some cuffs on, and we're going to let you feel it and strengthen some of the hitting muscles. So we're going to go through your one, two, three drill, okay? So let's get set up. Let's go one, two, and slowly up to contact. Nice. Again, repeat that, please. One, two, three. Slowly up to impact. One more. Hold your impact position for me. Again. 
One, two, three. Stay right there and get your right arm over your left leg. Give me that tilt. Good. Look up at your hand. There's the ball. That has to happen in the air. Good. Again, please. One, two, three. Okay. Do that again and make, make sure you really give me that tilt. Toss that ball up. And when you toss and just go to one, hold for me. Go to one, tilt, nice, stay right there. And what I want to show is, once again, this arm is right in line with your shoulders, and right, we should have that line right through the hand, right through the shoulders, right through the arm. It's not a low elbow, it's an elbow and shoulder position that'll be much more tolerated than if the arm gets way up here. And we talked about that the last time in the last video. Okay, do that again for me. One, two, slow up to impact. Good, right arm over left leg and hold it for me. Good, one more time, just like that. One, two, three. Now, let's come back. We've had that on the elbow, so that's been giving your elbow a good feel what to do, right? But your arm is actually three segments. It's your upper arm, it's your forearm or lower arm, and your hand, okay? You do what you've just been doing. Well, let's go to one, two, slowly up to impact. And what I'm really seeing there, we're going to repeat that. That's awesome. Your elbow's coming up first. Your forearm's coming up second, then your hand's going to come up, and at the end, snap. Just do what you just did. You just did it. Go to one, two, elbow up. Good. Perfect. And right at impact, up top, what's your hand doing? Your wrist is snapping through. Nice. Do that again for me. Go to one, two, three. One more time. And this time, reach up as high as you can. The ball's up there, so we're going to reach. Let's go to one, two, three. One, two, three. Three, stay right there. Hold yourself in that position. That's awesome because your right arm is over your left leg and your body to get there is tilted and it actually allows us to put our shoulder in a pretty decent position to be able to tolerate that swing, right? If we stood there and we were just straight like this, that puts a lot of stress and torque on that shoulder. So go ahead and show me that right arm over the left leg again. Go one, two, three, two, hit. Nice. Do that again. Stop the ball. You got it. Same thing. Great job. One, two. Awesome. Okay. Remind me what your left arm does, your left hand? To your heart. And you did it. So let's do that faster this time. One, two. Nice. Last time coming up. Awesome. Great job. Give me some. Good work. Give me five. Nice job.